can be drawn out. We did change that. Here's day number two of um, stem cell collection. They already changed my dressing. Uh, a little skin breakdown around the s catheter site. And I'm about to get more Neupogen injections. They're already feeding me the orange flavored Tums. And uh, my wife brought me some Gatorade, which is okay. No. And um, we'll see if we can't get another, if we could get 2 million stem cells today, I'd be done. But most likely we'll be coming back tomorrow also to St. Paul's Hospital to complete the process. So, 3.5 million. As long as they get 3.5. Okay, here goes day number two of infusions or stem cell transplant. Are you gonna wait a minute? Yes. Sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we go. Gonna make it happen. Ready? Let her rip potato chip. <laughs> Where yeah. do you want your to in your stomach again? Sure. Just as long as you don't do it on the sides, and there goes the blood. Where did all that air come from? It's sterile air. Really? The kit. And this is actually the AC. One drop is going for every 12. So you probably ah. see a little, a little one trying to get in there. So right there, this is the anticoagulant coming in, is pulsing in. Okay. Yeah, so if your blood is coming in, it's going to give one drop for every 12. That makes sense. Maybe that's what I'm seeing is little clear things and not so much bubbles. There it goes, yeah. And it's coming on back. And that's the warmer, like we saw yesterday. And there's the plasma that has already been collected and there's the wife that has been patient in driving me back and forth braving the traffic putting up with me and what else oh and happy Halloween honey oh I like that better You're dedicated. I know. I like the extra hours. It's the coolest thing in the world. Maybe I can get over time. They gave me a nice place for that next time for the salary. But they're in the next place. So they, I'm like, I kept them in some injections. They basically have a bunch of new injections in the last time. Mm-hmm. I'm just taking video. I'm just showing this. I may or may not use this video. Okay. Okay. And here's the stem cells right now. That yellowy looking orangey peach kind of amber stuff. That's the stem cells. So why is this right here so strange looking with so many little channels and lines and it actually is transferring what we're getting out of centrifuge, which is plasma, okay. pure plasma. And when it does the flushes, this actually comes down okay. to this, and it goes back into the centrifuge, and it comes okay. back out through this same line. So we have red cells, plasma, and a little bit of tainted plasma with red cells. Okay. This one is pure red. This is the anticoagulant cassette, so it's actually mixed in with the blood. So the these are actually cartridges that, like, snap in there? Yes. Okay. I see. It's just I've never seen so many little strange looking channels and directions and these are the clamps that you were talking about earlier. There they are, yeah. And she's got a big opening down there. And this is an optical sensor. It actually detects all the cells, what it is 
by gravity, like if it's a plasma cell, mm -hmm. red cell, or a platelet. Okay. Yeah, isn't that? That's different. So this is the ACDA right there being metered in, because so I can see the intermittent movement of the motor. Mine's a little bit raised. <laughs> okay. And then this over here, I guess, only activates when it wants to push the blood back. When it's returning, uh huh. Okay. Yeah, because I notice sometimes you get something that looks like that. Like color. Yeah. Well, see, I'm almost ready to start working here. I'm, I think I about <laughs> got it figured out. This one's great. This whole thing just comes right out. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a big tray. Mm -hmm. It just. That is nice, that is nice yeah. All so nothing's actually touching. You, you know the See, older machines, how we had to string them out, and it was a line here, line right. there, and you yeah. had to wire them out, and then do the. Oh. That's how the code was. I guess the older machine. That, that's it, the code, yes. Oh, it was a. This it, one's all one kit. Yeah, I saw it. That's nice. That is nice. Yeah. Our, our stuff is all one kit. Yeah, uh, that too, yeah. That, yeah. And just show that in there. That is spinning. Inside of there is the... So this is me and my new best friend, the apheresis machine. As it stands right now, we're not having to come back on Saturday, subject to change, because it's changed every day. So originally it was going to be 5 million cells, yesterday the goal was 3.5 million cells, and now today I'm being told 2 million will be acceptable. I'm going to take it, or whatever it is. So. Oh, and then over here, yeah, which is good, good, and this right here is magnesium, I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not, it doesn't act like it's focusing, there it goes, so uh, for whatever reason, I guess my magnesium is low, so getting some more mag. And this is Gatoresium right here, and this is good for electrolyte replacement, fluid therapy. And that's the Tom's check station right there. She hands me my tongue. She gives me a choice of berry or mint. And if I go to the lady over here, she gives me orange. And I'm burned out on orange for sure. So, all right. I don't know how much more clowning around I can do here before I run out. Oh. So the maximum rate there is 65 mils a minute. And yeah, the pressures of the two little moving graphs on the bottom, there's the pressure coming out and the pressure returning. So the left pressure is the one where it's pulling out. It creates a negative pressure, hence the negative 89. And on the right is the return pressure, so it's a positive. 189 right now, and those are measured in millimeters of mercury. And um, the citrate infusion is measured in milligrams per kilo per minute. So she's giving me a 12 to 1 ratio, 12 drops per one drop of blood, or something like that. 13 full cycles, and I'm going to run out of things to talk about. Yeah, this is very different than the old Cobe machines. Faucheur, faucheur. Oh, I haven't seen that. Look at that. You can see the plasma back there mixing in that line with the blood. F 
freaky. And that's plasma with a little bit of red blood cells. All right. So there's my stem cells for today. That's what it looks like. And the word has changed several times. It was 5 million cells, then it was 3.5, then it was 2, now the word is 3 million cells. So I guess it depends on who's talking to who and which doctor and then the nurse keeps coming in giving me the latest and greatest and my CD34 count went up today which normally they go down and the CD34 count is a rough correlation of the baby stem cells so normally after the first day of collection you would see stem cells go down but my stem cells seem to have gone up so maybe this aggressive immunizations and whatnot, immunization injections, maybe those were a good thing. So it's 2.15, we're wrapping up. That's my honey bunch over there. It is Halloween and I'm probably the scariest character here, but that's okay. And yeah, well, okay, so today I felt a little better and I got onto YouTube and I started watching David Blaine Street Magic and David Blaine Real or Magic. These are uh, different things and let me tell you what, it's interesting. Uh, as a magician, he's, he's brilliant. He's over the top. If you've never watched anything on David Blaine, go onto YouTube and look up uh, street magic. It's just a bit on the freaky side what he can do. Or you can watch the other one called Real or Magic. And he has the most amazing card tricks I have ever seen. Uh, he does the most interesting things I've ever seen. I don't know how he does it. Uh, it's, it's not normal. But anyway, it's really fun to watch though. So. Uh, I don't care for his feats of endurance. I think they're boring. And but so the word is right now that they don't think we're coming back Saturday because they only need three million. And yesterday we got 1.5 million. And with my CD34 count going up today, it's reasonable to think that they might at least get the same amount of cells today or maybe even more. And if that's the case, they're gonna be happy with three million or above stem cells. That's the latest, could change. Seems to keep changing throughout the day. Um, what else can I tell you? Happy Halloween. We are done. Done as in finish. No more stem cell collection. Got 1.5 million today for a total of 3 million in two days. And we're going to go eat Mexican food on the way home to celebrate. <laughs> and then we're not coming back tomorrow for another stem cell process. But we will be in the hospital Monday at 11 to start the transplant process. So it's done. Good. What a crazy busy week it's been. Starting Sunday, it's now Friday, every day, every day here to this building you see behind me. And with the 1.5 million stem cells we got today, we are done. That would explain why I got so sick yesterday, because they, they said they were going to hit me with everything they could, and they did. Uh, don't close it just yet. And uh, so... That's why I got so sick yesterday, but it's also the reason they were able to get all of the stem cells today so that I'm a free man. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm a free man, so I'm going to turn this thing off and we're going to go eat some Mexican food. I could use y'all's help for a moment. 
I was just looking here in celebration of having completed my stem cell harvesting for the week. I wasn't sure if I should maybe do more of a light brown or if I should go ahead and do like a, a, a medium brown or if I want to do maybe I could do like a real black and go ahead and just get my hair really black. What do y'all think? My wife thinks these stem cells have gone to my head, but I disagree with her. But I am getting a big one of these because I have used up nearly the one that's in our bathroom. So there you go. I am having trouble deciding on one thing I could use y'all's help with. I wasn't sure if I should do like a detangle and style brush there. It's got the little soft ends on the bristles. If I should do more of one of these boar bristles. Maybe one of these over here. I can get the tangles out right there. It says tease and lift. Volume in seconds. Okay, I can dream about hair again one day. All right. Enough having fun in CVS Pharmacy. I really came here to pick up Zofran. Yeah, anti-nausea medicine. Needed.